Hi, I'm Greg Lawrence. I'm a psychedelic integration and transformational coach, and this is another in my video series on microdosing. Today I want to talk about dosing schedules. question that often comes up is, how often should I be microdosing? And first I want to say that in this video we're primarily talking about microdosing magic mushrooms, which contain psilocybin and LSD, and if you take either of those every day, it won't be long before you don't feel anything, because you'll build up a tolerance. So it is important to have some space between your doses. How much space? That's what we're going to talk about. Some people microdose you know, once a month or whenever they feel like it, some people two or three times a week, and some people follow very specific protocols. Probably the two most popular protocols are the Stamets protocol, which was developed by Paul Stamets, famed mycologist, in which he recommends microdosing magic mushrooms five days on and two days off. Those two days off help you reset so that you don't build up a tolerance. The other protocol that's very popular is the Fadiman protocol. That was developed by James Fadiman, psychedelic researcher and author of the book Psychedelic Explorer's Guide, in which he is credited with coining the term microdosing specifically for psychedelics. Now, Fadiman wanted to study the effects of microdosing. So he reached out to people who were currently doing so and asked them to microdose on a very specific protocol and report back to him measures of things like their happiness, creativity, focus, and so forth. So he asked them to microdose 10 micrograms of LSD, one day on, two days off, for one month, and report to him. Now, at the end of a month, the volunteers were told they could adjust their dose to whatever they wanted. They found that most healthy volunteers started dosing less, while many people who were suffering from depression moved to every other day. Fadiman has also said that that two days off was really a research protocol and not so much a dosing protocol. They wanted to make sure that people got back to baseline so they could accurately compare baseline to how they were on the day of dosing. So the Fadiman protocol is something that was developed for research purposes, not necessarily for people to have two days after dosing. But one interesting note is that there was a study done of people following the Fadiman Protocol in which they measured the same things, happiness, productivity, wellness, and so forth. And what they found was on the day of the dose, there was a spike in those levels. The day after, it came back to not quite baseline. And the day after that, dosing plus two, they called it, there was actually a slight uptick in most of those measures. So at least anecdotally, there seems to be something to that second day. And Fadiman has said, a lot of people have said that the second day actually feels better than the day after dosing. So if you are on the Fadiman protocol and you like that, stick with it. If you're dealing with a condition like anxiety, depression, and so forth, then you might want to increase your frequency of dose, but remember to leave some space in there and take a break once in a while. So I hope this has been helpful. If you want to reach me, you can get me at greg at psychedelicintegrationspecialist.com.